So we're ready for action. How you going there, Jerry? Set, standing well. Okay, the last one. Adornment the favourite. Yeah, just let me know. Okay. Clear! Racing. And uh, Miss Miranda, a little sluggishly away from the inside, drops back. The first to get going is Sunol, but ATM speeds across. Going forward as well on the outside soon after. Bonneville Black to take them on. And driving over now is Ebony Maggi. So he came out running. He might finish up slotting into the box seat. Here he has from that outside gate almost. Just trying to get it back across the heels of Bonneville Black. And right behind them, Ensign Pulver, scintillating three deep. Over on the inside next of all is Spirited Schnitzel being followed by Perth from heaven a dormant in the back half then Miss Miranda who's going up towards the inside then smart fascinator three deep being followed by Brolita five silver rock and last of all is Warbo and Grotto inside the 650 and ATM had drawn clear it's ATM now a length and a half clear from Bonneville black up running second third on the rails is Sun Ol and Ebony Maggie's there handy in the middle is Ensign Pulver scintillating comes four deep back towards the inside is spirited schnitzel followed by pearls from heaven and peeling to the outside, adornment at the top of the home straight, followed by Brolita 5. ATM first into the straight, though, two clear of Sun Ol. And then Ebony Maggi scintillating down the outside, Pearls from Heaven. Inside the 200, ATM still clear, Pearls from Heaven coming with Sun Ol. Down on the inside, Spirited Schnitzel scintillating, and now adornment. ATM swamped by Pearls from Heaven, Ebony Maggi scintillating, Pearls from Heaven, I think. I think it's Pearls from Heaven that scrambled home from adornment, scintillating, and Ebony Maggi. Ensign Paul was close up and so spirited Snitzel Brolita 5. ATM got the staggers in the shadows. Then Sun Ol, Warbo and Grato followed further back by Bonneville Black and then Smart Fascinator, Silver Rock and Miss Miranda amongst the last of the men. Hectic finish there with the maidens queuing up. ATM swamped by pearls from heaven and then adornment charging down the outside. Geordie Turner lifting pearls from heaven the dive coming, but too late for adornment. And it's the Cole Webster train filly by Blackfriars. Pearls from heaven at a third run that salutes for PG and Mrs. C.B. Bruce. Ten first from 12 adornment, two scintillating, possibly Ebony Maggi close up fourth in a blanket finish to the Lavazza Maiden. Stand by for the numbers, but Pearls from Heaven by Black Fries from Miss Unikovsky. Only her third career start. She was placed on debut at Pinjarra and uh, then uh, beaten a margin last start to Creative Hero, but has um, certainly dug in when the acid test was put to it by Turner in the last little bit and in a driving and a busy finish, We'll just get there from 12 Adornment. Is by Medallia Doro from Jewel, Grant and Alana Williams, William Pike. Two scintillating third home by Blackfriars out of Weona Lady, Neville Parnham and Stephen Parnham. And fourth five, Ebony Maggi. 672, 20, 120, 380. The interim details thereafter. Race number six. Now the next event of the day will be the Schweppes Handicap. Over 1,400 at 617. And there are no changes there. So times and margins to come to hand. And uh, then, of course, we'll be down with uh, Gareth in the yard pretty shortly as we uh, stand by for a bit more information to come through. Can't quite see Gareth at the moment um, and uh, where the connections might well be. Cole Webster's down there. He's in the winner's enclosure. That's about as far as we can take it right at the very moment. So uh, with uh, more to come, the time, 1.25.57 here after race number six. Is the winner coming back. Pearls from heaven. Making its way down now into the winner's enclosure. A long header, header, head with the margins. 37.68 the split. A long head, a head and ahead and Gareth is now uh, down there amongst the uh, connections including uh, winning trainer Cole Webster after the victory thank you thank you Darren Colin Webster that was a good performance lovely ride by Geordie but this horse has showed a lot of ability in the early part of its career she has mate the only blemish was when we took her to Bunbury she won't ever be going back there again I can tell you yeah but she likes it back here at home well she loves it anywhere yep. except there holes fell into holes and everything there but terrible 
Were you expecting that good performance today? Absolutely. Her first up run at Pinjarra was a cracker. You had something on? Do right, I did. Well done, Mr Webster. I do right. <laughs> I love it. There's Colin Webster and Geordie Turner's about to catch up with Brittany Taylor. Yes, he's just grabbed himself a well-earned drink and now I'll grab Geordie. Uh, did you share the same confidence as Mr Webster about this horse off its first two runs? Yeah, we rate this horse uh, fairly high and there's a lot more in stock for her. Um, we were expecting her to run pretty well today, but we knew Pikes was the one to beat. But um, to, her, to her credit, she won it well. You finally drew a much better gait than those previous runs. How did you use that today? Um, we did use it in our hands. She didn't get out quite that clean, but she seemed to muscle pretty well. And we ended up getting her to a nice enough position and uh, worked to our favour. And uh, she was too strong. It was a busy finish. Did you always think you had the upper hand? Um, I thought I did. I wasn't quite sure. I saw Pike on the outside, so I was, had, I was always second guessing. But no, it was good. You can never be too confident when you see him to your outside, but you got there. Congratulations. No, thank you. Cheers. Now too, it's uh, reading more correct. 35.67, 35.67 there, that final 600 split. And we stand by for correct weight. <laughs> 